And for the first time at the regatta on day three, we're watching the women's singles, the Princess Royal Go. Challenge Club, and we've got um, qualifier uh, Hart against the selected athlete Schienard. Schienard, she's from the Duck from Holland. She uh, is on the right hand side of the picture. And what an opportunity for Hart from Wallingford Rowing Club to um, line up against this international rower. Yeah, Louisa Hart, I see here, is a uh, three times winner at Henley Women's. Regatten, she's now up against uh, an international athlete here in the form of Lisa Chenard. Top of the island, and I'd say it's the young lady from the Netherlands that has a lead at this stage. Yeah, absolutely, Henley Women's Regatta. Fantastic event in its own right in its 26th year, but on the 1500 metre course, it finishes at Remenham the Racing. Same start, finishes earlier, and Louisa Hart, she'll be used to that course, and today she'll have to find the extra um, 600 metres almost uh, that, that goes from that Remenham through to the finish, but we're looking there. We've got Sheena, she was 12th in the World Championships last year. She's used to being the six-lane racing, sitting on an international field, but Louisa Hart, what a great start. She'll warning for a rowing club, she'll be out here cheering for their athlete. Beautiful conditions, has to be said. Just look at that lovely, flat, calm water, blue skies, absolutely perfect. I might take it up myself, you know. It's a beautiful sport, isn't it? And looking at these pictures, wouldn't you just want to come here to Henley Royal Regatta? It's day three, we know it's record conditions, you get it right. And what we're seeing there is two single skulls. The first time we've seen the winning side, the women's single. And this is um, where the best athletes in the world want to come and race. They're here at Henley on their way to the third World Cup regatta. It's going to be an exciting regatta. And one of those best athletes in the world, Elisa Sheenard, um, she's here le leading Louisa Hart from Wallingford Rowing Club just down the river. What a moment for Louisa. It's got to be very different, hasn't it? Because they're, they're generally used to these uh, athletes, uh, multi-lane, some man-made lakes, some, some are beautiful lakes, but it's still six-lane, multi-lane. This is a totally different kettle of fish, isn't it, Henley Royal? It's side by side in the most beautiful setting. And then we can look at these images now. Absolutely fantastic. The uh, the Dutch uh, sculler there looks to have uh, wound down. What's yeah, her rate? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she's still at 30 strokes a minute. She's keeping it honest. You know, that's quite normal for a single sculler. Louisa Hart there, she's pressing on. I'd say she was at 32, 33, slightly higher, putting in more strokes, looking to stay in touch. Um, but, yeah, this is a great performance. What an opportunity for from a lightweight athlete from Warningford Rowing Club. We're watching the... Master of work here, she's uh, put this race well under control, coming now through past, as you can see there, the red grey bar, formerly uh, the barn bar, of course. There, no time to stop for an ice cream as they press down the course. Beautiful, beautiful conditions and uh, quality sculling. Yeah, these women's events at Henley Royal Regatta, we've already seen the women's quads, the girls' quads, we've seen the women's quads, we've got the women's eights to arrive tomorrow, and the opportunity here for eight women to be part of the Princess Challenge Cup. Interestingly, there were nine women that went through qualification, so three of them had to go through qualification. These, what, Louisa Hart was one of those ones who did qualify on Friday last week at that very busy day here at the Henley Royal Regatta course and I'm um, delighted to see her but it is Lisa Sheenard who is ahead here at the moment. Now you can tell by the looking eye my eye I'm going to ask you something here. You've been down this course in many many boats haven't you in many regattas. Have you have you been in a single skull? Yeah do you know I did race this um, course in the single skull it was um, when I was a very young athlete and um, like so many of us in sort of the rowing world, and I, I was born in Henley, I'd been watching the regatta as a, as a young child, and I was an international athlete in other sports, and I never even thought I'd be part of the rowing community. And then I think it was in 1996, I found myself against fellow steward, Gwynne Batten, who had just come back, or was just on her way to the Olympics. And um, a bit like we have um, Louise Herhart there, I had my opportunity to look Gwyn in the eye. I was a hero to the end of the island, and then I'm afraid I was a zero as Gwyn disappeared off into the distance, but it inspired me, Martin. And what I'm hoping is these pictures will be inspiring people. This is beautiful sculling from the Dutch woman. You can see that loose relaxation on her face. You can see the blades pick up. You can see the boat pick up, and she is moving that boat sweetly. 
Yeah, she's moving down through uh, Remnant Club, and I'm sure they won't mind us nattering uh, a bit like Test Match Special here, nattering over the, the top of them. But you, you say um, inspiring. I mean, it wasn't actually that many years ago when they had a round of the World Cup here, which I think Wim was probably the first person to, uh, to go down this course. Yeah, I think she um, came across Maria Brand on that point, a Swedish girl, a fantastic legend in the single skulls and in the world of rowing. And, you know, we're going to be looking at this event this year. And um, we've got Nat Kova here. We've seen her win World Champs, win Olympics. She was an international 1500 meter runner. She turned her hand to sculling and she has pretty much ruled the world since. It's great to see her here at Henley again. Um, but this race here, looking at that, Louisa Hart, she's holding on. She's making Wallingford Rowing Club proud. You can see she's gone through Remenham. The Henley women's rowing finishes way behind her now and she's going to drive it all the way to the line but it is Lisa Shan Sheenard the Dutch sculler beautiful sculling here you see the logos don't you get inspired and this girl can and we know with the Henley uh, quad when they won the junior event the girls junior event and off the back of that how many young people have got into rowing you know and as you say you hope that these images and these pictures inspire people but somebody's telling me the other day that uh, girls rowing is the second uh, largest growing sport um, in the country. That's, that's really exciting. And I think if you are watching these pictures and you are inspired, let's um, retweet them. Let's send them out to people because Henley Rowing Club, women's rowing, men's rowing, kids rowing, we know what this sport could do. You've seen, as a teacher, so much change in people through this sport. And, you know, what does the discipline give a young person, would you say? Well, it, 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 it's everything, isn't it? It just, it, it's that cohesion. Uh, and sport teaches you so, so much. You just look at the amount of young girls now that have taken up rowing. And, you know, any other sort of nonsense that can be a distraction, it, it goes because they're so focused on this, which is just a most brilliant thing. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? And I think young girls, young guys, anyone who's interested, anywhere in the world watching these pictures, get down to a piece of water and, and try rowing. Or, if you can't do that, the... Um, first thing that many of us did and perhaps recognised our talent was the rowing machine. At the time it was um, only known as the rowing machine. I think later in our careers perhaps it became the dreaded rowing machine as you do more and more hours on the ergometer. But it is the place where you learn your power, you learn how to push yourself as well as you have to do in this single skulls out here on the water. Well these girls have done hours and hours on that and uh, you know to, to, to put all that effort in and now this is the reward and uh, as we see she is, uh, well, in fact, they're both paddling their way up towards the finish, getting a, a round of applause from the enclosures. A beautiful, beautiful morning here at Henry Royal Regatta. Yeah, and here we are. It's Lisa Sheenard who is um, winning that heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup, but Louisa Hart of Warningford Rowing Club, there she goes. What a performance by her, what an opportunity.